first we're going to see is Gary Honey attempting 7.9 metres to qualify. So Gary's making sure that everything's right for this first jump. He's waiting for the breeze. A most experienced competitor. Competed in Moscow. Competed in the World Championships last year. He finished fifth. And now he goes. Picks up down the runway, moving quickly. Come on, Gary. 790 we need. And off the board quickly. Oh, a good opening jump by Gary Honey. He's into the final, no doubt about that one. Just jogs back. Looks at that mark. There's a smile. That was a tremendous jump by Gary. Got, seemed to get good extension. Well, he's in great shape. Here he comes in, bounding, bounding, into full stride now. Full sprinting stride. Quickly down the runway. Approaching the board now. He's been in tremendous shape since he's been in Los Angeles. Off the board, great lift. Good hitch, extends extremely well into the pit. We wait for that distance, but a great jump by Gary Honey. 7 metres 93, in fact, so Gary is into the final with his first jump. On the runway now is Joey Wells from the Bahamas. First jump, a no jump. Moving very, very quickly to the board. 804 personal best, and uh, that looks a bit better than his first round effort. Certainly strong and fast. Running into a slight breeze today, the long jumpers are having a great deal of difficulty. So far, we've only had five qualifiers, five athletes jump in excess of 7 metres 90, as Wells from the Bahamas pours it on, coming down the runway, looking for that magic 790 that will get him into the Olympic final. He's moving very, very quickly, pumping those arms and raising those knees. He was really a good sprinter. Of course, that's a, a great help to horizontal jumpers. Now off the board. Good height. And that's quite a neat jump. Just sat back a little. However, it's a good one. Joey Wells jump from the Bahamas. 7 metres 92 qualifies him for the final tomorrow. The whole crowd in the stadium is just waiting silently for Lewis to begin his approach to the long jump board. And now the crowd start to buzz as Lewis, faster than a speeding bullet, off the board, and oh, opens up and closes the door. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow in the final, he says. Wave to the crowd. Carl Lewis came out and leapt to a majestic 8 metres 30, and then it was Wells from Bahamas to finish off that group. In the second group, Evangelisti from Italy, Myrix from the USA, Yusai from Japan were qualifiers. So those people will go into the final there's seven of them. The next five positions will be made up of the next best five athletes from both pools. So a nail-biting time for those athletes that haven't qualified to make that final tomorrow. Going to be a most absorbing competition with Gary Honey from Australia, well in the prospects for a medal of some colour. So good news for Gary Honey in number three spot, and of course, Mr. Magic himself, Carl Lewis, at 8.30 metres. Should be an exciting event. There's no doubt that we have... But first, Gary Honey's medal-winning leap. While the world was watching Carl Lewis attempt for his second gold medal, Australia was watching Gary Honey, who got himself into a cliff-hanging tussle with the Italian for a medal. And the first man that we see is the man himself, Carl Lewis. Even though we only have, we have Carl Lewis up on the runway, he only has two minutes, just like any other jumper. <laughs> And two legs and two arms. Peter. And he puts his pants on one leg at a time. And the crowd is geeing him. There's a crescendo of noise here as he rocks and begins. Lewis, the world's fastest sprinter, approaching the board. First jump coming up. Oh, that's right, that's right. look at that. A tremendous jump. And it's a, it's a clean jump. A huge leap from Carl Lewis first time round. John, he certainly put pay to the oh. theory that we had about the wind conditions affecting long jumpers. <laughs> what so a tremendous jump. 8 metres 54. On the runway now is Evangelisti from Italy. Here he goes now. Good, fast, strong sprinter. Barrels off the board. That's not a bad jump. Just not quite the leg extension. Well, here comes Evangelisti. Off the board now. Good speed, good height, John. Mm. Yes. He's got a good technique, Phil. Uh, it's just he didn't run hard enough. That's why he didn't get enough power off the board. Now on the runway, getting set for his second competition jump, 
Gary Honey from Australia. This is it. I'm sure that he can move up way in front of Evangelista, in front of Myricks, and possibly the great Carl Lewis. Well, Honey, waiting for that breeze. Now he starts attacking the board. Really got a rev off the board. Just a little short step. That's reasonable. Not a bad jump. He didn't quite get the height off the board that I would have liked to have seen. Threw in two short ones just before the board. He's looking down at his feet a little, mate. Perhaps he needs to look, run right through the board. Well, he does that for the yes, first he part. Now he's yes. straightening. But watch the last two or three steps. There you oh, go. A yes. couple of short ones. Doesn't well, get the lift. That's right. Well, no speed, you see, off the board. 7 metres 92. So he hasn't improved from the first round. Final jump for Evangelisti. He's just lost third position. He's going to really attack on this one. Last chance. Oh, a good leap from Evangelisti. Let's just watch him drive in to the takeoff board. There he goes into the air. Doesn't quite have the height that Marek's had. Still a good jump. We'll just have to wait for that distance. Giovanni Evangelisti, 8 metres, 24 centimetres. He's in second place. He's pushed Gary Honey down to third and Myricks back to fourth position. This is Gary Honey's last jump. 8.18, Myricks is just behind him on 8.16. And Gary, if you ever pull anything out in your life, this is the time to do it. Gary Honey jumping for his life. Here's the run down the runway picking up speed come on honey hit that board and go it's a beautiful jump anxious moments for gary honey let's just watch him now on the runway really attacking this is the final jump in the olympic games for gary honey he's in third he wants to get back into second place just a shuffling step there not a good run up but he does everything he can off the board 824 for gary honey he's in second position again a fantastic long jump competition. The winner, as we expected, Carl Lewis from the USA. He produced a magnificent jump of 8 metres 54. And then the second position and silver medal went to Gary Honey from Australia with 8.24. But not after a stern battle with Evangelisti from Italy, who jumped 8.24 also. Honey came into second position on the countback. His second best jump was 8 metres 18, better than Evangelisti's 8 metres and 9 centimetres.